it really it's always going to be whatever it is in this moment if that makes sense not to be ominous but like you have no choice but to like honor every step of the way right right so i guess that's my long answer of my relationship with my <laughs> queerness. of course of course you know i think a lot of artists you know throughout different disciplines, but it's particularly in music, use their music as a way to kind of explore and embrace and celebrate their queer identity. And I know that kind of, as you were alluding to right now, you know, as you've been making music, it's been a journey from one step to another. So I would love to just kind of ask, how has music kind of helped you embrace and celebrate your queerness? Um, I mean, it's helped me celebrate it just because it exposes it to masses, exposes it to a, to a lot of people. And people in turn celebrate it like that, whether it's celebrating me, whether it's using the music to celebrate each other, whether it's playing it in celebratory spaces, you know, like all these, all these things, you know what I mean? Right. Um, so yeah, I think it's just music is a celebratory thing in a lot of cases. Um, and that alone is just that I feel like it's kind of self-explanatory a little bit. Right. Of course. Of course. Um, last Pride, obviously, we didn't really necessarily get to celebrate because of the pandemic. This Pride, kind of the world started opening up right in time for Pride, honestly. And so mm -hmm. I'm curious, like, first of all, what does Pride mean to you in 2021? And how did you kind of celebrate your first year back into kind of being able to celebrate? Um, I wouldn't even get to say that, like, I truly got to celebrate because I'm spoiled and I'm from the Bay Area. And I've come from celebrating so much, like, just every single year being this largely massive, huge pride parade that like people fly in from all over the world. And like, I've been going since I was a kid with like my uncle and it was different for me to celebrate it inside, but I also am really sending my love to people in heavily COVID affected families and communities with not the resources to be able to even think about getting through COVID, let alone celebrating pride um so really my heart goes out to those people people stuck inside with not so accepting families um people stuck in scenarios they can't leave the house for and being outside and being at pride is their only way of being able to celebrate with people that they feel safe with um but as far as me celebrating i think it's just like keeping my prayers out for everyone and like donating when I see people need resources and helping out where I can and like supporting the homies and things like that. And I've gotten to do all of these like cool performances for different platforms. So that's felt pretty celebratory, but I don't feel like I've properly had a big pride run. Right. <laughs> I mean, all that stuff is so is like equally important, if not more. So like, that's also such a great way to kind of tap into that spirit of pride. Yeah. So, I mean, I know that you have been kind of working in the studio. Can you tease the fans with anything that you have in the works right now and kind of let us know what we can expect regarding new music in the future? Um, I have a lot of music on the way. I have been nonstop working almost since the day I released my last album. So I've been making a lot of music. Definitely the new changes in perspective and like, the changes in like understanding identity and understanding uh, sexuality have definitely affected the music and the music is a lot different. And I mean, not to say that I just wasn't making the gayest music before cause I had a lot of like moments, but like knowing that I have this new perspective and everything is coming from the same lens now, um, it's definitely new for me. Um, but I hope that people enjoy it. It's on the way, it's coming. I'm teasing it very much more than I would normally right now. But I have a lot of music on the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are all anxiously waiting. Um, and again, kind of talking about the world opening back up, and, and, you know, that it is, how are you personally feeling about kind of getting back onto the road and being able to actually perform for, you know, in-person audiences again and capture on that energy? Um, I am really excited to get on the road. Um, of course, there's like, everybody has tour plans right now. Pretty much everyone who was gonna tour before is planning on touring again. 
And it's just trying to, I, I don't know. I feel like there's these updates that are happening that are kind of scaring, I mean, kind of scaring me a little bit again of just like, will they shut it down again? Like what's happening? But I can only just stay hopeful and pray that like I get a chance to go on the road, but more importantly that all my supporters are safe. Right. Um, not putting anyone in danger. So we're just waiting for the right time, honestly, to make sure we're doing it the right way. Right, of course. Um, so today you're sharing your performance of Toxic Nights Like This and Honey. Um, I would love if you can talk a little bit about why you chose these three songs specifically for your Pride performance. Um, well, Toxic was the first single of my... Hey, J. Chris, Hey, yeah. This is a song about a girl who broke my heart for a guy. And I feel like for Pride, it's just a relatable situation for all my women loving women. Um, and then Honey is, my, of course, my celebratory gay ass anthem. And I've been performing that song for so long. So it was nice to kind of like switch it up and play it in a different way and sing it in a cool way. And honestly, yeah, that was the thought process behind picking those three. Yes. Well, I mean, I know that I can't wait to check out the performance and I'm sure all of your fans in the chat as well cannot wait. So um, it's up now. So I want to thank you, Kalani, for being here to talk about this. And I want to thank all of your fans for tuning in and to let them know that you can go watch the exclusive performance on Human by Orientation's Instagram TV right now. That's at Human by Orientation on the account that we're currently talking on and you can also stream all of our pride 2021 content on hbo max if you just look for the your past to pride 2021 page and on hbo max's youtube where you can watch our pride lgbtq content year round um so i want to say happy pride to everyone again it's the last day of pride for that pride is year round for us and um i hope that you all enjoy the show I hope you enjoyed the show too. And thanks for talking to me. Happy Pride. Thank you. Happy Pride.